Hi, Corey Dershane, Barefoot Books Independent and Ambassador. Um, today I would like to share books from our World Passport Collection. Barefoot Book prides ourselves on having a global perspective in the majority of our stories and these are some of our best from around the world. So first, to encompass the whole world, is our World Atlas that has a fabulous app that goes with it. And the Atlas discusses each of the continents. It even talks about, starts out talking about mapping our world and how that actually happens and starts. You can see right off the bat how colorful the Atlas is and how detailed it is with animals and depictions of indigenous people. It has fold out flaps for more information. Mm -hmm. Talks about the oceans before it goes into the continents themselves. And then it also has little, did you know, lift up flaps as well, which are fun for extra information. So this is a great atlas for kids to get when they're young and grow up with, or to get when they're older too, because it shows so much information that it just never, never gets old. <laughs> and then as a bonus, at the end, you get a great map. Um, a big colorful map to be able to pull out, put on a wall, and have your kids use. So this is just a really, really cool resource to have. Um, next in our global collection, and oh, actually I should say, to go with that, we have a couple of sets when you go under our Barefoot Book sets that you can find. So to go with the World Atlas, we have our Cities of the World game, which is a memory game. And then we also have a children of the world memory game too, celebrating diversity. Next, one of my favorites. My granny went to market around the world counting rhyme. And granny, in rhyming terms, goes around the world to buy things for her granddaughter. My granny went to market to buy a flying carpet. She bought the flying carpet from a man in Istanbul. It was trimmed with yellow tassels and made of knotted wool. Mm. Okay. And then she goes on and she keeps going and she gets more and she gets more and more and more. And then at the end, Granny brings it all to her. But best of all, she met me in the mountains of Peru, where she gave me ten black llamas and a magic carpet, too. So Granny's giving her the magic carpet to be able to travel on her own. And I flew away to... Where? Let your child decide. And then here's all the things that Granny collected to help with counting skills. So that's a fun one. Mama Panya's Pancakes, a village tale from Kenya. Mm -hmm. A boy and his mother are going to get um, ingredients for her um, Panya's pancakes at the nearby market. And the boy keeps inviting people to come. And she's like, we're not going to have enough ingredients to be able to make for all these people. We don't have enough money. And the boy's like, don't worry. Don't worry about it. And he knows not to worry about it because... When he gets to the end, all of the friends that they, he invited along the way come and bring things to go with the meal so that they actually do have enough in the end. And you see them all having pancakes and all the other th stuff that everyone brought. Um, this is a very different perspective for many children. Um, if you look at the end, it says village life in Kenya. I know if you think of like my daughter, this is very foreign to her um, compared to where we live, thinking of someone living um, like this. So I, I love bringing that perspective to her. Um, walking to market, all the different animals and like trees and stuff that they encountered along the way or they might encounter. Speaking Kiswahili, so there's actually some language lessons in it as, as well. So. 
barefoot books, of course, as I said, many of them have end matter that is going to be some nonfiction to add to the tale that they read. And then lastly, we all went on safari, another counting one, a counting journey through Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And they go through, and then you have the number and how to pronounce it over here. We all went on safari when the day had just begun. We spied a lonely leopard. Arusha counted one. Mm. Mm. And then keeps counting on through. And then in the end, facts about Tanzania. Mm. Here, let me get to the beginning. There we go. It's a bunch of actually. There's the animals of Tanzania. Mm. The Maasai people. Mm. Swahili names. Facts about Tanzania, along with a map. And then lastly, counting in Swahili. Mm. So, one paperback book with a whole bunch of information in it. If you're interested in any of these stories or any of our other um, global books, please let me know. Visit my, visit my website. Thanks.